Hello, Pogs. Welcome to Leg with Fonzie. Hope you're well. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my Lego friends. Hope you're well. So, as you can see, we're back with the farmhouse. Now, you've, by now, you'll have seen the videos which released of it being built. The outside done by me, the interior uh, done by Mrs. Fonzie. As you can see, she's done a brilliant job. So, we're back today with the farmhouse to give it a review of it. Talk you through what we did. When we were actually recording and building this, we were both quite ill. Uh, we had a nasty bout of stomach flu and we were not very well at all. So basically, I thought today we'll have a sit down, a bit of a chat about this and um, yeah, see how it kind of went together. So <clears throat> as you can see, the building is finished. Now, first things first, we have a bee down here. We have the flowers which are now in. Um, hopefully they'll be sitting there, can be seen. They can. Um, the furniture was designed as per her request. She made, told me what she wanted. Um, then I made the furniture. So we have table here, table there. This is due to have its top changed. This will be changed to 2v2 with stud, just so I can place some food and it food items on there. We have the furnaces down here, crafting table, another ch another um, storage down here, a food storage here, fireplace, bed chests uh you'll notice we have the two alexes on their chairs the chairs in question are these now we have done a short on how to make these so go back and check the playlist for that there you go nice and quick and simple little chairs these are fantastic the flooring i really like i mean i really really like due to the fact that it, it reminds me of a honeycomb that's my honest opinion it reminds me of a honeycomb when she first came to do with the flooring this way it was what she does is she sketches it out on um squared paper different colors and says this is what i'd like to do what do you think um if i like it then yes no worries if i think it needs to be slightly changed or if we can do it another way or if we don't have the parts to do that yet we need to order them i'll let her know um, but we have very open discussions about everything we don't argue or disagree we just talk about things and it's more like creative co collaboration isn't it? that's what it is for us but yes the floor is great the fact that she's gone with the dark orange, I really do like it. Um, I think it looks really good. The bed is our typical bed for, uh, bed design, but we've gone with a red and white. We did try looking at dark red, but it was a bit too dark of a colour to go with the contrast of the floor. Um, there's a lot of windows on this one. I thought rather than putting shuttered windows in, I'll go for like a glass pane Minecraft-esque um, design. So that's what I've done. We've got large bed windows around the sides here. Uh, we've got two windows at the back over there behind the fireplace. Um, I think it looks good. I need to add two pieces of tile there, there and at the front there. So I need to dig them out and um, attach them, just remembered. Um, as you can see at the front here, you'll notice these pieces here, these hang over. I mean, it's a two by four, but it hangs on there like that, just this a little bit. As you can see, the tiles hang over. Now, the reason the tiles hang over is so they can then attach to the next board in the farm. Um, what I've done is rather than building the, I used to do the buildings offset by one stud, which meant the whole building attached to the next plate. A lot of breakages, a lot of messing around. So I spoke to my friend, Nate Diaz, a uh, winner of Lego Masters. Oh yes, that's my, that's who I build Lego with. Um, lovely chap, by the way. Very busy, but lovely chap. Um, yes, he suggested doing it this way. It's a much simpler way. So I've implemented that now on all the all the project. The whole thing is that way now. So that's good. Took a lot of work. But yeah, I mean, I've continued the, the tile thing with the roof. I've gone with tile on the top here to smoothen it out. I haven't done what I usually do is do a big roof over the top and then to lift the, to lift the roof off to show everyone what's inside and put the roof back. I thought, what if I do a half roof? It gives you an idea of what the roof would look like, but at the same time, it then lets you look inside without having to think about taking everything off and messing around with everything. And I think that's a good idea. Let me know in the comments what you think about how I've done it, but I think that's a good idea. So we've gone with the dark green around this uh, this gardening portion. The reason I went with a darker green, not a lighter green, but the rest of the farm is a lighter green. I went with a darker green due to the fact of this overhang here would in turn call, uh, cast a shadow over the doorway like it's doing now, which would in turn make it darker. So I thought I'd go with a darker green to offset the shadow. I tend to go with the shadow theme. Um, but yes, the rest of the farm is a lighter green, but you'll see that on a review video later. It is built. It is 
Um, I haven't recorded all of it being made due to the fact of it would be at least 10, 12 episodes uh, of me putting a farm together. Now, some of you may want to watch that. A lot of people wouldn't. I think a lot of people get bored 12 episodes of watching me putting fields together. So I haven't recorded all of it. Some yes, not all. So yes, everything is looking good now. Um, next for the project is the cathedral and graveyard need to come back in from the garage. And they need some maintenance. They need dusting and needs maintenance so you'll be seeing that on the channel soon i'll be taking a lot of that apart to uh um readjust it oh yeah it's gonna be some fun that oh, lord but yeah this has gone together quite well i'm very very happy with it it looks good it feels quite sturdy as well when you pick it up um i'm really happy with the way that it's come out i think mrs swansea's outdone herself with the interior it's very colorful it's very bright it's vibrant vibrant i like that word vibrant it's vibrant um but yes I, I hope you're enjoying this build series as much as we are putting it together um over the next coming months between now and february the videos will be thick and fast as we endeavor to build the marketplace before february the marketplace has to be built before february because i go to big tastic in february and it has to be there to be displayed so i would like to say thank you everyone for watching I hope you've appreciated this rather quick video today. I appreciate every moment of your time that you give us to come and watch these. And I look forward to reading the comments on your feedback. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you think there's anything we can improve on. Anything you think we could uh, bring to the valley. Let me know. Uh, as always, if you want to be remember have somebody commemorated on the build, that can be done. Um, we offer 2 by 4 tiles uh, for loved ones to have names put on. Um, or if you just to support or you want to support the project, feel free to get in touch. We can put your name on a tile um, and pop you into the graveyard. So no worries. There's quite a few names in there now. It's filling up. So if you want your name on there, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, my friends. May the Fonzie be with you all. And remember, take care in these mad times. <laughs>